Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Nadia Jocelyn, and I'm back with another video. And as y'all can tell by the title, we're gonna get there when we get there. That's all I'm gonna say. We're gonna get there when we get there. But right now, I'm finna vlog because I got a couple things I want to do today. It look dark outside, but I promise y'all it's still early. It's just the whole time change. It gets dark so fast, but I promise y'all it's still early. We just had a late start because we really didn't know what we were gonna do today. Like my hair appointment went from four to five to six. Like it was just so much stuff that just been going on. So I had a late start because so much stuff was getting pushed back later in the day. But we're here now. Um, I'm finna go to the beauty supply store and then Taina say hey. Hey y'all, it's your girl Taina Rain. Yeah, <laughs> and my sister say hey. Mm -hmm. I know y'all seen both of them on my channel before, but they gonna drop me off after the whole beauty supply store to get my hair done and then they gonna run some errands for me. But that's gonna be explained later in the video. But it's gonna be a little vlog and then we gonna get into something deep in the end. But um, yeah. <laughs> Make sure y'all like the video, comment, and subscribe. Make sure y'all watch the whole video so y'all can get the tea on everything that needs to be waking up. And yeah. All right, y'all. We are at the hair store because like I said earlier, I'm finna get my hair done and I'm getting something different this time. I'm kind of nervous because I ain't never did nothing like this in my head. Like ever, 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 ever. I never did something like this, so. Oh, what she she say? She said get three bundles. But like. She said get this. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's this, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so my I got highlights, y'all. And the only reason why I don't be doing nothing to my hair is because I don't be knowing what color to get. And I don't like mixing. But I feel like that's what I'm going to end up having to do. If it look cute, it look cute. If it don't, it don't. But I low-key kind of want to dye my hair back black. But people said the blonde fits me. So I really don't know. Let me know what y'all think. I really do want to go black, though. Just so I can do more hairstyles with my hair. But I don't know. The blonde is kind of growing on me the highlights thing but she said mix 30 and blonde this is 30 are you getting curly like that no not that curly but i was gonna say but oh. that's the color though that she said to get it's it's they only got deep waves. i don't see breezy waves there's none down there yeah i don't want if i have to get like straight i can get straight and just crimp it okay. <sighs> i never did this to my hair before so I don't even know what the freak I'm looking for. I'm gonna leave it up to my sister to find it because I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, I'll probably come back to y'all whenever I find what hair I'm gonna get because right now we're lost and I don't know what I'm doing, so. All right, y'all, we got the hair. We had to come to a whole other beauty supply store because the other beauty supply ain't have nothing. They didn't have the color. They didn't have like literally nothing. I was out of luck. Hello? I ended up getting a color that actually looks like my hair like actually like all in one color we didn't have to mix nothing so i'm glad i didn't settle for the other, other beauty um, supply store but it's currently 607 i'm finna go get my hair done because my appointment is at 6 30 and i'm running kind of late but she's only 20 minutes away so we'll be but they gonna drop me off but this is what i need y'all to do well y'all drop me off i need y'all to go to party city and walmart I'm going to give y'all my second camera so y'all can vlog from y'all's point of view and I can add it to this. But Party City, I just need the 100K. Y'all can really get whatever color y'all think, except for gold. Don't get okay. gold. And then when y'all go to Walmart, just get like a cake mix. It don't matter what flavor. And get like a heart-shaped pan. Oh, you're then, making your own cake. Yeah, I want to make my own cake. Because where the, where the freak else will we get a cake that says 100K? Unless we they buy the icing and pet on it. Yeah, like put get the icing like all that. Y'all know how to make it cute, but that's what I need y'all to do while I'm getting my hair done. And then by the time y'all do all that, I should be done with my hair and I'll be looking like a bad bitch again. But I'll see y'all whenever I'm getting my hair done. Hey vloggy vlog. So now he's getting her hair done. We in party city. We picked up Savy. Savy say hi to the vloggy vlog. <laughs> Yeah, we in Party City. Y'all, she doing a prank on Nadia. So make sure y'all go check out her prank. We getting her balloons for her 100K pictures. For the jumbo or number balloons, do we come to you to order or is it like back there? Okay. What colors do y'all have other than gold? Oh, oh like you want that size. Oh, yeah, they got like this size. I think we should do that size because that's big. It is. Look at that big one down there. That's huge. Should we do the pink or the rose gold? Because I know uh, her outfit's like a light pink, right? Yeah. Is this is the bright pink on here? I can show you. Oh, okay, yeah. Mm. No. Not that? No. The uh, rose gold? Yeah. Rose, rose gold? gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll match more with her mm -hmm. outfit. No, we think the rose gold. Yeah, the rose gold's pretty. Yeah. yeah. So can we do the rose gold, the one of uh, 100, like 100, and then a K? And can you blow them up too? I'm going to keep it in the car. <gasps> 
Back seat. It's yeah. gonna fit. Yeah, so we got the balloons. We walking on a party city with the balloons. Okay. So congrats to see. I wanted to get Um, this is for you. I just wanted to let you know how proud I am of you. I love you so much. Um more than 100 k is coming like this is only the beginning for my sister mm -hmm. i just know i'm very 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 proud and happy for you and this means a lot to me like it's like i hit 100 k like you got it i got it like it's like i'm i'm real proud of you and i love you and i know it's up from here you know your sister run behind you through it all period 100 k looks so good <laughs> yeah yum 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 I don't think the trunk is a fit. Because it's a suitcase back there, too. Oh, yeah, that's my suitcase. I'm glad we didn't get the jump on one. No, nah, for real. The jump on one was too big. Okay, K, it fits. See you guys when we pick her up. Y'all, my hair done. It eat. It's long. It is. They cool. back. They got the balloons. <laughs> they in their school. It's just oh, Xavier back there. <laughs> But tell me, y'all, I was supposed to get this crimped. Not just straight, crimped. I told the lady, I said, ma'am, look, I don't even want no more crimps. Just leave it straight. I'm in a rush. Because they called me in the middle of my hair appointment and said they wrecked my car. Or someone hit my car. So I was like, at this point, I don't even, I don't even want no extra on my head because my whole vlog was going to be done. Which is why I didn't record when I was getting my hair done because I was irritated. So I was like, at this point, like, F it. Like, I'm not even going to take pictures today. There's no need for me to freaking get crimps. If it's not even going to last, for one. And for two, I'm not even going to take pictures because my mood f***ed up. I ain't got my car no more because they said they hit it so bad that they got totaled. But it was just a prank. <laughs> <laughs> they pissed me off. But they got the balloons. They got the little cupcake. Y'all, look at the girl. girl. Look. Q, 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 it's cute. Her theme is pink. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Let's get a little cake, but look the at the donut. Okay. Period. Yeah. Look at this video. She got her hair done. Yeah. Big honey cake, though. Don't play with yeah, right. Don't motherfucker play. Don't yeah. Play. Yeah. yeah. Oh, anyway, right. y'all. So, are we going back to Walmart to get the chicken Alfredo? Yeah. So, you cooking for my 100K? Oh, I'm going to cook all night. Yeah, I'm gonna cook for my man inside of him. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. yep. All right, y'all. We is at Walmart. We finna get stuff for chicken, shrimp, Cajun, Alfredo. Alfredo. She making it. If y'all can't tell by now, she's our chef because Nadia can't cook like that. But yeah, we finna be eating good tonight. You want broccoli in it? Mm -mm. I got the ick from bro broccoli. Oh, got the, the ick from broccoli. Cause like it was just a bad experience. Mm -mm. I probably could. I'm just a princess about it for real. But, anyways, y'all, I'll probably come to y'all once we done shopping and we got everything because I'm not trying to get copyrighted and I'm sure it's not trying to take your head off. So, yeah. All right, y'all, we got all the grocery. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna change so I can take pictures. So I'll probably see y'all whenever I get home because I'm not gonna grab my camera when I'm taking pictures. When I'll be taking Instagram pictures, I'll be in grind mode. So, I'll see y'all whenever we get home. We are setting up. Y'all know what time it is. We um, okay, Paul, we, did it. It. we did it. All right, y'all. So, we finally back home, and I just got done taking pictures two pictures actually. I took some in a parking garage, and I just took my 100k plaque pictures. Don't mind the cake, it got a little destroyed. But this was the scenery, if you could, you know, tell. Yeah, it was like white and pink. I got the two piece, white piece. Yeah, that. Tyne over here cooking, so I'ma show y'all. You know how she get down. It smell good. We probably finna play Uno because we were waiting on her to finish cooking. But okay. She getting over there. That's fun. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cause like, who gonna marry her? Cause if y'all not gonna marry her, I'ma marry her. Anyways, y'all. I'm probably finna go live while I'm waiting for her to finish cooking. So I'll probably come back to y'all once. The food is done. All right, y'all. The food is done. We already took a bite. What you rate it? Honestly. Mm, I'm not good at rating. I hope I sent that to the right person. But it's good. It is? You like it to save you? Yeah. How you feel about your food? They reaction is pissing me off. It's good. Yeah, it is good. It, it is really good. I don't lie. I won't be eating it. Right. So nah, I'm girl. Fine. Do your homework on the last person that made us something like mm -hmm. this. And it got spit out. And it got threw away. For real? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I'm dead. We eating. I'm finna take my makeup off. I'm finna be chilling. And then, yeah, we gonna have our little sit down together. Bestie the bestie. Yeah, we, we gotta have a little talk. So whenever I'm done eating and I'm more rejuvenated to have this kind of conversation with y'all, I'll come back. But until then, let me eat my food. I just wanted to update y'all, so. All right, y'all, so it's the next day. I was contemplating all night on if I really even wanted to do this video. Cause it's like, I already told myself I was done doing sit downs, but it's like, when I can't even go live, post an Instagram picture, post something on TikTok, without y'all bashing me over something that y'all don't even know about, it gets irritating. Cause it's like, what's the point? No matter how hard you support somebody, you should never sit and cyber bully anybody. Especially because y'all only see what we put out on the internet. Like, oh my God, I cannot stress that enough. So, I'm going to just start out by saying that. Don't sit and take what you see on the internet and run with it. Because that's probably not even a half. That's not even half of a half. You know what I'm saying? So, don't ever sit and judge somebody just based off what you see on the internet. And I'm going to just leave it at that. But I'm not going to get really too in debt because I'm not here to bash nobody. I'm really just here to tell my side of the story. And I'm going to just leave it at that because, again, y'all are sitting here blaming me. And... I don't like that. I'm real. I can take accountability towards certain stuff. But when y'all are putting this whole situation on me, it just, it bothers me. Because at the end of the day, I know I had my reasons. And I know I wasn't crazy. And I know I wasn't tripping because everything came to light. And it's like, again, I was contemplating on doing this. Because it's like, I'm not, I don't want to ruin no one's image. Or I don't want to talk down on nobody. Because I, I, I really do believe in karma. Like, God is going to do his thing in due time. So it's like, I don't even feel the need to do nothing. But... I just feel like this is one of the times where I got to take up for myself. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Because when it's me, motherfucker, F me. F how I feel. F how motherfuckers going to be coming at me. Let me just save my side of the story and just save my image or whatever. So, I'm going to just end all that right now. Because, boy, boy, little do y'all know. So, I'm going to go ahead and start off with... We moved, me and Wuda first started talking. The whole 20v1 thing, like, you know, like, we was vibing, we was cool. Um, When I first first met Wuda, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I did give a 110%. Like, I was affectionate, I was loving, I was clingy, I was all that. I gave him 100% of my love, time, and affection. Like, I did. And I'm pretty sure y'all can tell by our videos, like, I was really vibing with him. Like, this dude was, like... I don't know, like, <laughs> I was really messing with him, all right? So, it was so easy for me to open up and be, like, myself around him and love him without feeling stupid in the beginning. So, but mind y'all, after the 20v1, we went bowling. And I feel like this is kind of where stuff started throwing me off, but not throwing me all the way off because we had just met not that serious so after 20 v1 i ended up posting a boomerang of me and wuda i posted the boomerang because it was a dare he dared me to do it so i did it i was like f it why not i guess lena seen it on um, messy Mods, and her and wuda were going back and forth about what i don't know based on what wuda was telling me like it was just about me posting. That's, that's just all I'm going to say. Because I really don't even know what it was about. But all I know is they were arguing after I posted him. That day, it just kind of threw me off a little bit. Because it's like, at the end of the day, a female is not going to go off on a nigga she's not getting entertained by or flirting with or messing with. At the end of the day, I don't care what nobody says. She, A female will never dry go off on you if there's nothing going on between them. And that's just how I was looking at it. So I was just thinking like, why would she go off on him if it's nothing there? So I always kept that little situation in the back of my mind. I really didn't take it and run with it like I should have or could have. But you know, I just, I just let it sit. I let it sink, whatever, whatever. After that, you know, I guess he seen like it kind of bothered me a little bit. We ended up talking about it. It was just dead. So, boom. After that, I really didn't look for any problems. They really just started coming to me. And it was just little stuff like I would sit and watch TV on his couch. And all of Lena's videos would pop up. And the little red thing at the bottom was played all the way through. And, again, it wasn't that deep. But it's like, 
why are you keeping up with your ex's videos? Because if Wooda was at my house and he's talking on my TV and he's seen I was still updated on all of my ex's videos, he would look at me like, why are you still watching him? Like, what's the point? You know what I'm saying? So that just kind of threw me off. And I'm not talking about no sit down video that she brought him up. And I'm not talking about no video like that. I'm talking about a regular vlog, a regular, you know what I'm saying? So it, that kind of moved me the wrong way. Cause I'm like, why are you still watching her? Like, okay. So that just kind of moved me the wrong way. And then it was, there would be times where he was driving and she would text him and he know I seen because he would say something like, I know you just seen Lena. Lena texts me, but we're only texting on some friend stuff and da 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 da. And I would just take his word, like, okay, like, it's fine, like, that's you, like, all right, like, it's cool. But where stuff started getting real complicated at was when he would try to tell me I can't do something and put restrictions on me when he was doing him at the end of the day. He was doing him, like, real, 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 real bad. And I wasn't really messing with it because it's like, you can't do that. You can't be a hypocrite. You can't put me on hold, have me on lock, and you doing you. And that was what our first argument was about. He took it more so as me pressing him about Lena and thinking, I think he messed with Lena still, but I told him multiple times, like, that's not it. Like, if you're going to do you, you can't put restrictions on me. And that's all. that's all it was. That's all it was. But he tried to make the argument so much about me thinking he messed with Lena. When that wasn't it at all. Like, that wasn't it at all. Because at the end of the day, you're going to do what you want to do. I'm not pressing you about that. I'm pressing you on some don't tell me what to do if you're doing you type B. And that argument got so out of hand, y'all. Like, so out of hand. Like, he was yelling, screaming, I'm packing my bags. Like, it was just a OD argument that I wasn't living for. Like, I'm not living for none of that. Like, it's too freaking soon. You doing all this? Like, for what? Like, mind y'all, during the whole time I'm talking to Wuda, I wasn't messing with nobody. I wasn't flirting. I wasn't doing nothing with nobody until Troy, but we'll get into that later. So it just kind of threw me off, and I'm just sitting, I'm just looking at him while he's over here yelling, like, why are you more mad than me? Like, you're doing you why are you more mad than me type deal so after that again it threw me the wrong way because it's like what is this like you're mad at me you're doing all this yelling and screaming and shit when it's you like i'm peeping little stuff about you and from there on y'all i'm not gonna lie to y'all and y'all can see my energy shift throughout the videos but i went from giving him 110 percent to barely even giving him 50 and y'all cannot blame me for that because in my last situation, this is the only time y'all can tell me I'm bringing up my last situation and I'm putting it onto Wuda. My last situation, I would peep red flags, but I was still falling more in love, in love, in love after seeing the red flags. This time, I'm seeing the red flags, but I'm pushing back. Like, all the red flags I'm peeping is pushing me more back. It's not pushing me towards you. Y'all cannot sit here and bash me for doing that. Like, no, because y'all like to use the whole, oh, uh, she wasn't healed from Cam. That's why she did this to you. And da 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 da. No, because if anything, I learned a lot from Cam. I learned a lot from Cam. And I would never even entertain Wuda if I was not healed from Cam. Nadia don't do that. I ain't never did that a day in my life. So for y'all to say that is crazy. I learned from him. More than for me to sit and be hurt and drag it on to somebody else. I didn't do that to Wuda. Because if I did that, I wouldn't have been 110% with him in the first place. Do you hear me? Okay. Clear that up. So after a little argument, you know, we ended up pushing it to the side, whatever. That's when he got me flowers. It was dead. I was like, okay, whatever. Like... We still going to be, you know, we were still talking. We were still vibing. But, again, all this stuff is still in the back of my head because it's like, I know I'm not tripping. Like, it's little information, but I feel like I'm not tripping on it. So, it's like, it started pushing me back a little more. Like, it was just pushing me back. Whatever. Would have started peeping that I wasn't giving him, like, 110% anymore. He would ask me why, and I would just give him half answers. Because y'all got to understand, like, the information I know now... I didn't know then. So when he would ask me, like, why aren't you messing with me like you used to? Like, you aren't the same, da 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 da. I wouldn't, I wasn't able to tell him why because I didn't even know myself. And it's like, it would lead into another argument because he's trying to figure out why when I don't even know why myself. Like, I knew why, but I didn't know why. Like, the whole pieces wasn't together before I even addressed something. The whole pieces wasn't even put together for me to address it. So I just left it there. Like, it's like I would try to explain. 
but it would just come off as something totally different and yeah so i'm gonna just go ahead and fast forward to the part where ori and wuda was arguing y'all that argument was so dumb and i'm sorry if y'all felt like i should have pressed my friend over someone i was talking to for two weeks on live but that's not nadia i'm a real ass friend at the end of the day so for y'all to say oh nadia didn't care about wuda because she didn't do this this and that oh trust me me and ori had her, our conversation you know i understood where she was coming from but i also told her like hey like next time you should just handle it like this like da 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 because y'all doing this it ain't gonna get nowhere just fire with fire like we had our talk but best believe it was a talk behind camera behind closed doors because i'm not checking nobody on live with seven thousand people i'm gonna leave that to y'all but at the end of the day i had my talk with ori i had my talk with wuda it was just dead so that day was when everything just threw me off like all the way off so the first argument happened boom we ended up going bowling we came back from bowling and they argued again because I guess Ori's ex texted Wuda some hours later and it just made the fire heat up again. So they was arguing again in the room. I'm like, oh my God, this shit again. And Wuda ends up saying like, I can go get a few more for you right now. I'm I'm thinking he trolling like, because who you going to get type shit. So then he ended up going downstairs and he ended up bringing Lena upstairs. And I'm just confused and I'm looking like, what was she brought up here to do? Like, not even on no like fight and stuff, but like generally, what were you going to do? Because <laughs> cause when we was at the bowling alley after the whole argument thing, Lena was telling Ori exactly what Ori should have said to get under Wuda's skin. So when I seen, I seen her come upstairs, I'm just looking like, it's no way you finna buck up about him, but you was telling my homegirl what to say to get under his skin. Like... That threw me all the way off. So I'm just like, so you just bought your ex up here over this little ass argument. But yeah, you just showed your hand over this little ass argument. And that wasn't even throwing me off. It was the fact that Lena was on the bed talking about some. I'm the bitch you always going to get. Da -da -da -da, it's always going to be me. Whoop -de -whoop. And I'm just sitting there like, and he's agreeing. And I'm like, all right, <laughs> it's raps for you. So after that day, I mean, after that little argument happened, I ended up packing all my stuff. I left him B&B &B and I was going to Ori house. I'm texting Wuda, whatever. He's like barely responding. He's not answering my calls. I told him I was going to come over there and I have access to get in his apartment on my phone. When I looked on my phone, he logged me out. So I'm just thinking like, all right, that's weird. Mind y'all, I left this part out. After the third argument, after the argument where he brought Lena upstairs, they left the B&B &B with each other. They left the B&B &B with each other. So when he was doing all this, not answering my calls, not texting me back, removing me off access to his apartment, it ain't nothing else I'ma think, but is she at your house? That's all I'ma think. You know what I'm saying? And from there, that's when it really started bugging me because it's like, all right, you made me seem crazy for not messing with you 110%, but you're showing me why I'm not messing with you 110%. So boom, I'm like, all right, like, like what's like what's up? Like, is she at your house? Like, and he's not answering me, whatever. Um, next day, you know, I ended up not talking to him because I I went to sleep thinking the girl was at his house. You know, he let me go to sleep like that. Even if she wasn't, he let me go to sleep like that. My mind was wandering wild that whole night. So the next day, you know, I didn't talk to him, but I ended up seeing him at the whole stream thing. We ended up having to sit down, whatever. After the sit down on stream, we went into my car and we had an actual sit down with just us. And, you know, this was when I started telling him, like, this was when I started piecing everything together. And I was telling him, like, bro, like, you got mad at me for not giving you 110%, which I understand. But it's like, now that I'm realizing why I couldn't give you 110%, it's because at the back of my mind, I knew what it was with you from the jump. Like, I knew you wasn't over your ex. I knew y'all had some dealings. Like, and it was like, I still try to force myself to be with him after peeping the red flags. But it's like, I'm not going to mess with you the same after I peep something. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not. So it's like, and I was telling him that, but it's like, it didn't get through to him. So it's like, I was talking to a brick wall, but it's like, you have to understand, like, I was messing with you. But then when all these little red flags started popping up, and I already been through something like this, it's not going to do nothing but push me away. 
And then now I see you left the B&B &B with her. And you just got her to fight my home girl. And she over here saying she, she always going to be that girl to you. And da, 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 da. You giving me confirmation on why I'm not messing with you. But you trying to make it seem like on the internet. Oh, I'm not healed. And da, 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 da. The whole time I'm not tripping. And you trying to make it seem like I'm tripping. I'm not tripping. I knew why I wasn't messing with that dude. You see what I'm saying? That just gets me heated all over again. So, boom. Like I said, we was talking in the car, whatever. We ended up being good. We got matching pajamas that same day. So, mind y'all, while we had this little talk in the car, I asked him, like, so did Lena stay tonight at your house? Like, did she go to your house, whatever? He was like, no, right after that, I took her home. So, I was like, okay, cool. Boom. After the whole stream, pajama stream thing, we ended up going back to the B&B. I was talking with Ori and Ariane in the car. His cameraman came up over here and, you know, he got in the car with us. We was talking. And then the whole topic of Wuda and Lena came up. And I was like, RTB, if you wasn't Wuda's friend, would you look at me like a dumbass for going back to him? He was like, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, but that's my homeboy. I can't think of it like that. So I was like, okay. But, you know, if I had my ex at my house, I would be in the wrong, right? He was like, yeah. So then I did this. So Lena was at his house. Correct me if I'm wrong. He was like, yeah. So after that, I did exactly this. And I waited for him to get out the car. And I looked back to Ori. I said, I didn't know Lena stayed the night at his house. And she was like, oh. And Ariane was like, swear to God. I was like, yeah. Buddha told me she didn't. Buddha said that he dropped her off right after. So I'm like, all right, this dude just lied to me. Like, what's up? So then, boom, after that, mind you, me and Wuda just had a whole conversation on if something bothered me, I need to speak on it right then and there. So we're finna lead a B and b whatever. I get in his car, and because RTB is going to drive my car to his house. So I get on Wuda's house, uh, Wuda car, so we can drive to drop his friends out, whatever. So then, Wuda like, you okay? I was like, yeah. He was like, are we good? I was like, yeah, we just got to talk. I said it just like that, like, yeah, we just got to talk. He was like, it's about me? I was like, yeah. He was like, and another person? I was like, kind of. And, you know, Wuda were anxious, so he's like, what is it? Da-da-da-da. I was like, we'll just talk when we get home. He ended up dropping his friends off, and he he was like, okay, it's just me, you, and Chase in the car now. Like, what is it? Like, what happened? I told him exactly what happened. But I told him it was more on a reverse psychology thing. Like, it just happened, y'all. Like, it was just a reverse psychology thing. RCB ended up slipping up. And he started getting mad at me. Going off, yelling, like, talking crazy, like, you always want a problem, da-da-da-da. And I'm just like, dang, like, hold on, I'm asking you if it's true. Because you told me, no, your homeboy telling me yes. Your homeboy that stay with you at your apartment. And you going off on me for coming to you about it because I feel a way. Like, you didn't just tell me to fix that. So after that, like, that hurt my feelings. I'm not going to lie to y'all, I was crying because it's like, we just had a whole conversation on if something bothers me, I need to tell you right then and there. When I fixed what you asked me to change, it's still a problem. So it's like I'm communicating how I feel towards you. Your reaction is on you at this point. You know what I'm saying? So after that, I'm just like, bro, like, it's no way. Like, we're at, we're in his parking garage at this point. I'm like, all right, there's no way he's going off on me. I'm sitting here crying. He's finna walk in the a little elevator to get up to his apartment. And I just wait in the car and he comes back. He's like, so you just gonna sit here? Da -da 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 -da, like going off and he was trying to flip the whole situation on me and it's making me mad so I punch the dashboard I get out of his car and I start walking around the parking garage because it's like I'm not trying to get out of, out of character I haven't got out of character in so long over nobody so it's like I started walking around and he's not doing nothing but recording me talking about some look at her she wants me to chase her no sir I really want you to leave me alone because I'm really mad and I'm not trying to put my hands on, no, on nobody you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm really just trying to calm down. You over here making matters worse just because I came to you about how I felt. You know what I'm saying? Like, if the girl didn't say tonight, you could have just been like, oh, no, nah, like, this is probably why he said that, da, 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 da. You didn't have to go off of me because you going off of me make, making me feel like you guilty. So then, boom, I'm walking around, whatever, whatever, and something come out his mouth talking about some. I got a camera in my house. If you want me to show you, I can show you that she wasn't there. I stopped. I turned. I said, okay, show me. I walked up to him. I was looking at him. I was looking at his phone. I was waiting for him to show me. When he was on his phone, he was just scrolling through apps. Trying to find the app. Scrolling through apps. So I'm like, like, show me. He's like, he did this. So I'm watching over him. He's just scrolling through. Scrolling through. Like he couldn't find the app. Scrolling through. 
I said, show me. He said, look, I'm going to show you, but on my time. After that, I said, okay, bet. I walked off. Because at the end of the day, if I know another dude wasn't at my house and my nigga over here tripping, thinking a nigga was at my house, knowing I got cameras, and I know he wasn't at my house, I'm going to show them, I'm going to show them camera footage. I'm going to show you everything and more. Just to ease your mind. Because if you think someone else is at my house and no one was at my house, oh yeah, baby, look, I got you. This is what happened. This was when we got in. This is everyone who was behind me. This is, you see what I'm saying? Okay. So that threw me off. Because it's like, if she really wasn't at your house, why are you making it so hard for you to show me? So that was a red flag. I was like, all right, so she most definitely was there. So boom. After that, I ended up leaving. You know, he's still blowing me up, whatever, whatever. Cool. So I ended up sending me some footage. The footage was nothing but Chase talking on the phone in the kitchen for one minute and 52 seconds. Three, three clips he sent. It was just Chase on the phone, walking around in the kitchen, talking for one minute and 52 seconds. All three clips was the same time of him doing nothing. I said, Wooda, that's not showing me shit. Show me y'all walking in. He showed me a cl clip of them walking in. But it cut down to 20 seconds. Why are all clips 1 minute and 50 seconds? This one 20 seconds. You're lying. He gave me the access to his little camera thing so I can look myself. When I try to look at the footage, the footage wasn't popping up. So I'm like, okay, at this point, it's, I'm going through too much to try to even prove you right. You know what I'm saying? So if the girl that's sitting out at your house, you should be the one trying to prove yourself right. But I'm sitting here, I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. At the end of the day, it's dead. I know, I know, I know what went down. I know what went down. You can't make me feel stupid. Because if it didn't happen, you would have been proved it off rip. So, after that, it was just day, you know, whatever. So, at this time, I'm staying at Ori's house, you know. We ended up calling Marge, trying to link with Marge before he left back to Philly, whatever. And he said that he was going to Troy's B&B. So, I was like, alright, baby, we're going to pull up too. Fuck it. We ended up pulling up. Y'all can tell that I wasn't really trying to film because I had no lashes on. Like, I was just on some chill stuff. So, I ended up pulling up. You know, me and Troy been cool since the beginning of this year so you know we on some vibe stuff whatever whatever like that's like a best friend of me and he asked me like hey you want to film some videos i'm like yeah like we can do it F it. so i texted wuda and i told him exactly what was, what was going to happen i texted him he responded but to something totally different so i'm like okay you just read over my text all right you know me and me and troy filming whatever whatever you know best friend stuff because troy is like a kid that's like a little brother to me like that's my twin for real so, you know, all this stuff was going on, whatever. The flowers he gave me, he been had them flowers. He just gave them to me just because that was his night. Last night in the B&B, he didn't want them flowers to go to waste. Yanni already had flowers, so he just gave them to me on some sweet stuff. Again, y'all don't know that because y'all only know what was put out on the internet. So then, the video where he gave me the flowers, I ended up leaving. I had to come back because Maj left his iPad. So that's when he gave me the flowers. But I was on his hill, and I put my car in emergency park or break something like that whatever the freak it is uh emergency break i don't know what the freak it is but i put it where my car can't move on the hill so after he gave me the flowers whatever um he walked off and i'm trying to take my car off the brake thing it wasn't taken off so i was like how do i do this whatever so i ended up coming back to the car because i guess he thought it was raining on him but i was like no nah, my car was on emergency brake my hair was in my face like this I ended up kissing my cheek through my hair like i didn't even feel his lips on my cheek and he did that unexpectedly. And that was weird. I can take 100% accountability for that. It was weird. Like, I don't know why he did that. Like, that is my first time really linking the dude. So, I really didn't understand that. I can take accountability on that. That was weird. But I don't even be, I don't even look at him that way. So, I don't even, I was like, F it. Like, don't ever do that again. But whatever. Um, At this time, me and Wooda was getting into it because... The whole him and Lena situation was going on, whatever. So I was like, just don't do that again. Would it end up actually going to Troy's B and B that same day after I left? So I really don't understand why he's making it seem like it's a problem. He was just over there anyway. So then, um, what what's something else I gotta address? Okay, so the whole Cam thing. When I posted Cam call on my phone, I actually called Cam first. And I don't know if y'all took that as him blowing my phone up. That's that wasn't that. I called Cam. He was calling me back multiple times because my phone be on D and D. I ended up calling him because the I want to say the the morning of the day we was finna leave to Atlanta. I ended up calling Manny. I was like, hey Manny, like, can I go over to your house so I can, you know, drop two suitcases off because I only want to take one suitcase to Atlanta. He was like, yeah, go ahead, whatever, whatever. Wood is like, you a bot. 
he started going off on me. I'm like, bro, you're talking crazy to me because I'm trying to bring my suitcases to Manny's house. So I was just like, bro, like, at this point, whatever. And he started talking crazy, like, oh, you finna go back over there and be with Debo and da 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 da. And you're going back to Broke Boy Cam and whoop de whoop and blah, blah, blah. Like, he's talking crazy. He's talking about, I did this, I did this with this person and da 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 with this person. So I'll call Cam. Cam, why would I say that I did this, this, and that? Did I do that? No. Oh, okay, because you over here doing all this, saying all these false accusations, da 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 da. Buddha was right there. Buddha talking crazy. Cam hurt. Cam hurt. Behind. Yeah. He hurt. He was like, yo, you good? Like, why he talking like that? Da, da, da. I was like, he, I'm fine. He's just mad because I was finna go to Katie. He called me a bop. Then he started saying all these false accusations. How he gonna... Da, 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 da. He said he was gonna whoop you and Debo. He only bringing y'all up because who knows? Like, I'm telling Cam everything because it's like, first of all, I only called Cam for one reason. And that's because you kept making false accusations. Then when you kept going and Cam heard you in the back, he asked me if I was good. And I, then I started telling him what was said. So it's like I didn't call Cam on no setup stuff. So y'all saying I was trying to set up Wuda with Cam. No, I didn't. No, I called I called Cam because I was like, Wuda said I did this, this, and that with this person. Did I do that? And he conf confirmed that I did not do that. So that was weird, whatever. So that was why I ended up calling Cam. Me and Cam are never going to get back together. Like, I promise y'all that. So y'all trying to make it seem like I did all this, and this, this, that, and the third. No, I didn't. I was only calling him because Buddha kept trying to make it seem like something is not. And yeah. So I hope that pretty much clears up everything. Now I can take accountability on some stuff and I will take accountability. But at the end of the day, I know I'm not crazy. My I would never lie to myself. My gut feeling is going to put me spot on with everything. So at the end of the day, this was just a lesson learned. And I feel like this was just a lesson more so on. God put me through a situation like this, but when I fell for it and I hurt myself. So he put me in a situation similar to it, but he just wanted to test me to see if I was going to go through the same thing again. And I didn't let myself go through the same thing again. I fell back, you know, I, you know, pushed myself back for a little bit, took a step back and clearly it was an issue. But at the end of the day, we are human. Again, I'm not saying this to bash nobody. I just wanted to tell my side of the story because clearly motherfuckers on here. Trying to make it seem like I was the issue. And at the end of the day, we shouldn't be pointing fingers at nobody. He, At the end of the day, he has his reasons on why he feels the way he feel. I have my reasons on why I feel the way I feel. And we can agree to disagree. You know, no hate towards nobody at the end of the day. You know, we all human. And it's okay to let people go. Um, Again, I didn't want to bash nobody. I'm not on here to bash nobody because... Who knows, maybe in the future we can come back together. But right now, it's just more so of a break. We need a break from each other. And again, that's 100% fine. We're both young, we're both human, and we both gonna make mistakes. But to point fingers at each other is crazy. I'm not gonna do that, because I do genuinely love and mess with Buddha as a person. But um, yeah, it's just some stuff we gotta grow and we gotta learn from. And it's nothing but a learning matter and does that so far is me making content with boys i don't know if i'm gonna do that anymore please let me know y'all's opinions down below because at the end of the day they do kind of matter just let me know if y'all would rather me do more day in my life videos or if i should just start running series back with boys and just forget the hate comments because y'all gotta understand and i just learned this like i understand why y'all say the bop stuff but at the end of the day, all the boys on my channel, I only took one serious. Only one said they had me, for real. So all that extra stuff, like, I understand why I could say that only because the content I put out and the image does matter. And I did just learn that, so I can't be so nonchalant when it comes to stuff like that. But then again, y'all can't sit and call me out my name when it's only been one boy on my channel that's been taken serious. But, again, it is the content I do put out. And I do kind of ask for it because, again, the content I do do is kind of crazy. But at the end of the day, y'all, this is all for entertainment. My job here is to just entertain y'all, not to clear nothing up. So I'm going to let y'all have y'all's opinions. If I want to make content with a dude, don't always assume that there's always something crazy going on behind the scenes. Because half the time, 
it do be just for cameras or you know whatever whatever but my advice to y'all is to just don't sit and take everything on social media serious it should never get to the point where you're sitting here bashing somebody because nobody ever deserves that no matter what they portray that person to be out on the internet like that's just that's just that like i'm gonna just leave it at that you know everybody's human at the end of the day we're all young and we're still constantly evolving and yeah so i hope y'all understand my side of the story again i didn't do this to bash nobody i have no problem with nobody nobody i have a problem with um just long story short you know you live and you learn sometimes it's same shit different toilet you just got to handle shit you know a little bit more better a little bit more differently just so you don't end up in the same situation as last time and that's exactly what i did and yeah i just want to say i love y'all thank y'all so much for 100k i'm sorry i had to celebrate my 100k on and bring it on to a video like this but it's whatever um i love y'all so 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 much and yeah let me know what kind of content would y'all recommend me do um if y'all still want the boy content i'll still do the boy content just for y'all y'all are my supporters at the end of the day um and yeah make sure y'all like the video comment and subscribe and i will see you on the next video